of this international adoption? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mentioned that in the Rotarian newsletter. Yeah. That I wanted to speak to Marilyn. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's an international adoption involving the nation of Haiti. Yeah. The adopted daughter from Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> Where you disclose to the world that your daughter's adopted. Yeah. And then you used a picture of my sister, Susan Bowers, as being Marilyn Van Proy. <laughs> Why don't you get me the international adoption agreements with every nation of the world and all the children that have been adopted from any nation of the world? Yes. And then just do a quick Google search for their names and find out how many of them. Well, it's going to be a little bigger than it was yesterday. See, I think a person has the right to not have the world know that they're adopted. Mm -hmm. And these international agreements between the United States and other nations where adoptions take place, yes. For a father, yes, of an adoptee, yes. To use a picture of my sister as the mother of the adoptee, yes. <laughs> and then publicize it so that it's public knowledge, yeah. <laughs> I think it does violate numerous adoption agreements, international adoption agreements. <laughs> now, as much as I thought that I was going to adopt Legina so that she no longer has her last name, yeah. I am wanting to sue. Now, I'm going to want every adoption agreement of every nation of the world. And then all of those that were adopted from foreign nations, not the same as being adopted from the same nation. <laughs> not like adopting a little American baby to American family. Yes, it does actually violate international adoption agreements for Rotary to put right now. Now, there's going to be some additional costs in that. <laughs> it requires an international law attorney <laughs> to prove that Rotary International right now. Now, did somebody pay to obstruct my emails today? <laughs> Mike, I'd like to speak to Marilyn, mm -hmm. since I know that we as citizens do not have any obligation to make public anything, but mm -hmm. any person that makes anything public that is not uh, able to be made public because of uh, the court, yes, public information, yes. In fact, I thought about all those websites that seem to know so much about me, and I didn't know how they could, yes. If you Google my name, Paul Budnick, just put in quotations, P-A-U-L space B-U-D-N-E-K space. <laughs> I'd like to know how many IP addresses would like to know Ooch, my public court record. Yeah. Uh, the liens against me. Yeah. The dissolution of marriage. Mm. The arrest. Mm. Mm. Now, I'm going to want to have her get me that. I wondered how they could know so much about me and... I found out yesterday that it's all public information <laughs> once it's in the court record. Yes. Once the arrest takes place. Yes. And. Well, I found out yesterday. Mm -hmm. See, I mentioned if I spent a billion dollars, I might make a trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of corrupt judges out there. And pff, if you're having erectile dysfunction you might want to walk more but of course in jail they'll let you out of jail once a week to walk around the yard for about an hour it does cause penile erection dysfunction you spend a lot of time in jail it's difficult to walk 10,000 steps a day while in jail or in prison now I've never went to prison before and I don't know how much they allow you to walk but let's say you went to prison for 10 years and you walk out and all of a sudden your dick doesn't work oops your penis doesn't work <laughs> It could be that going to jail and going to prison does cause erectile dysfunction. And as much as I wouldn't want to sue Clallam County for my lack of erection. Yes, those 27 days, I oh, well, I wasn't able to walk. Oh, you're to blame for me not getting an erection because I wasn't able to walk 10,000 steps a day. Yes. Now, why don't we look at right now? the effect of erectile dysfunction on those that are incarcerated because of not allowing them to walk. Ooh. You know, when in a jail cell, and I, I, do, I have seen those that walk around and around and around so they can sleep at night. Yes. Not a lot to do in jail, is there? Mm. You fabricated evidence that I wasn't in squim. Mm. Ouch. 
well, I'm going to have to sue you for affecting the hardness of my erection. Now, I'd like to have a phone call.